Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today, for you guys, we're breaking down a trade um, between the Boston Celtics and the um, Portland Trailblazers. So, uh, you saw the Dame trade to Milwaukee Bucks the other day. Um, they also acquired, the Portland Trailblazers also acquired Drew Hol Holiday. Um, and the Boston Celtics just made a trade um, for... Drew Holiday. So, I mean, as a Celtics fan, I really do like this trade. Um, and we're going to break it down in today's video. But uh, we gave up a lot. So, I I'm not sure. Um, I really do like this trade because Drew is an amazing defender. And he's a very talented offensive player as well. But he's also, I believe, 34. Um, and we'll, we'll let you guys know what we gave up and stuff. Um, so the Portland Trailblazers are trading guard Drew Holiday to the Boston Celtics. Sources tell ESPN the Celtics are trading Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, uh, 2024 Golden State Warriors first round, uh, 2029 unprotected Boston first to the Blazers. Sources tell ESPN. So Celtics get Drew Holiday, um, basically, and um, the Blazers acquire Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, a uh, first and a unprotected first. So, as for the Celtics, pretty good deal in my opinion. We get Drew, really good point card. I mean, we got like a big four now in Boston. We got uh, Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Porzingis. Um, and I mean, this just it does. We do lose a little depth. I mean, Robert Williams came off the bench although he has been you know a little injury prone in his career when he is healthy he is a great backup center or even starting center provides amazing defense but you're also getting Drew Holiday he's a veteran guard you know he's an NBA champion with the Milwaukee Bucks um he's a really like I said he's very good on offense but where his his defense shines I mean we know that as Celtics fans um that one series where he just he he was dominant on defense he's a very good defensive player um but we do lose Robert Williams like I said good defensive big man offensive big man and we also lose the sixth man of the year from last year Malcolm Brogdon and a first and an unprotected first so uh we do we get like the it, it's interesting I think both teams are winners here Celtics get a great point guard in Drew Holiday, and the Blazers get more young guys. Well, maybe Brogdon's not that young, but Robert Williams is young, and then they get some picks as well. Uh, I think this is the best the Blazers could have done as far as the deal goes, and I think for the Celtics, although you're losing um, Robert Williams and Malcolm Brogdon, um, you're getting a very, very good player in Drew Holiday, but here's the downside is we already had um, two point guards in Derek White and Malcolm Brogdon, who I think could have probably steered the ship enough. I feel like Derek White, honestly, would have been a solid starter. Um, he's a very good three-point shooter, uh, made all second team, all defensive. I believe Drew also made a, um, a defensive team as well. But, um, but now Derek White will probably be, be the first guy off the bench, I'd imagine. But you have to look at... Who's going to back up Al Horford? Um, Al Horford, we already know he's getting older. Um, he was very, very good last year. Very good from three. Um, he's still a very good player. But he's not going to go out there and play 45 minutes a night, 40 minutes a night. Um, so, you know, looking at the depth chart, um, we got Luke Cornette, maybe. He could back up Horford. But um, we did see good development of Cornette last year. I thought he was pretty good in the time he had to play. But I think... The big part, I think the big loss in this trade, I'm fine with the picks. Um, I'm fine with losing Brogdon because we got a point, a better point guard, and we already have Derek White. Um, but I think the one thing I wish we could have kept is Robert Williams. Like I said, great young player, good defender. And, you know, he's a backup for Al Horford. Like, if Al Horford gets injured, like, you know, you're going to have to go out and sign the center or something. Um but this is a overall really good trade. I like I actually really like what the Portland Trailblazers are doing. Um they get rid of Dame. A lot of people say they didn't get a great package. I thought they got a fine package. Um DeAndre Ayton, I I don't really get the hate. Um, a lot of people are hating on him. I, I think he's a good player, man. 
yes, he he's definitely struggled in the playoffs, um, but he he's shown really good offensive upside. Um, and then they, and then this trade is you know they they knew when they sent Dame they got Drew Holiday they were gonna trade him as soon as they could and I'm assuming they looked for offers right away. Um, Boston showed interest and they found a deal and this was the deal. So let me read it once again for you guys. Um, the Portland Trailblazers are trading guard Drew Holiday to the Boston Celtics, sources tell ESPN. The Celtics are trading Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, 2024 Golden State Warriors first, 2029 unprotected Boston first to the Blazers, sources tell ESPN. So that is the trade details. Um, let me know what you guys think. Welcome to Boston, Drew Holiday. I think Drew, uh, Drew Holiday is a great player. Um, he's going to be a great player. I'm not sure what his contract's looking like right now, but we'll see. Um, I'm looking forward to the new edition um, of Drew Holiday, and that is going to do it for the video. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.